We talk football all day on GoLeopards.com. Mike Joseph and I, along with head coach Frank Devani, Michael talks some football with the coach right now. Here is Mike Joseph. Thanks, Gary. Mike Joseph here with head football coach Frank Devani, the 2013 Patriot League champion coach. And, uh, coach, an exciting day today. You really had a great day overall. 26 kids signed today, National Signing Day. What do you think about the class and uh, anything specific you can tell us about them? Well, we're always, you know, very excited, Mike, as you know, that for this day. It's a culmination of a lot of hard work. It used to be this thing where, you know, we take some time off after this, but we're already begun the next uh, recruiting segment of recruiting the juniors and sophomores already. But we're extremely happy with this class. We think it, it, it really added to our team depth, uh, which we really needed severely. You look at our, our, uh, our depth chart on the board now, and everything looks kind of like it did a few years ago. So we like the direction that we're going. We like the athleticism of this class and the overall team speed of the group I'm real excited about. Yeah, and, and looking back on the class, and we went through that class today, and you can look at that class on GoLeopards.com. You can pull up individually each and every film on those kids. 14 kids on offense, 11 on defense. you got to replace a kid like Mark Ross. How do you do something like that? Well, I don't know. You try, Mike, as you well know. I mean, Mark, a tremendous career, and it'd be nice to be able to duplicate that. But uh, we've got uh, we've got a tall receiver in there we like a lot from Illinois, and you know, think he could certainly develop into that. You know, because he comes in at six four with good size and strength. So you do the best you can. It's the next group of young men, and and hopefully, uh, I think, led by this group of juniors, rising seniors now are hungry for another championship. And it's become really a national recruiting now with the scholarships you can offer, second full year of scholarships. And uh, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, you found a kid from Arizona, you found a kid from California. Is that becoming the norm now with Patriot League recruiting? Well, you know, with uh, everything becoming national now with everything, uh, you know, social media sites, everything, huddle, all those things, you get an opportunity uh, to see film from anywhere in the country. You do an evaluation. You might not have a coach in that area, but you find a few kids, you'll get one out there fast. And that happened a couple of times. We're going to hit our four or five hour driving radius of the campus hard. And then we're going to take any information we can. It's the beauty of the internet. But you did a very good job locally as well. We found that you've had four or five kids just from the local area. And you've always said this hotbed of, uh, you know, uh, Lehigh Valley football has always been good. You did that as well this year. Well, we're very well aware of that. And, you know, been criticized some in the past. It just depends, you know, who's there each and every year. We look at the Lehigh Valley before we look at anything else. We look at it hard. And any given year, you know, sometimes you have some you don't. This year it turned out that uh, we were very happy with the group that we have from the Lehigh Valley. And, and you talked a little bit last week about crossing over with other Patriot League teams. That is that still the norm, or do you have a little bit of a niche in some places that you wouldn't have had before, so you maybe don't step on each other's toes as much? Well, because you're so spread out, Mike, and all over the country, you're not all over each other. I mean, in your region you would expect to be, and we still are. We're going to compete with Lehigh and those, those schools that are within our region. But you're going to find yourself in recruiting situations that no one else in the league is involved with. But with scholarships, remember now, you're recruiting against other people with scholarships as well. So it's not as easy as it looks. Absolutely. And that scholarship, you think about it, at some point in time, you're going to have 56 to 60 full scholarship players on the team. Obviously, that's the goal uh, this year. After this year, you'll have how many? And then how many will you have maybe next year? Well, right now, we're going to be at this signing today. We're at the Patriot League limit of the 30 full scholarships in terms of what we're able to use by league rule. Now, from here on, you can get the 60 as fast as you'd like. Okay. What we're going to do here at Lafayette is we're going to continue at 15 and 15 over the next two years to get to the Patriot League limit of 60, and we certainly look forward to that. Okay, Coach. Again, Coach Frank Tavani, the Patriot League uh, uh, coach right here with the football championship. And uh, back to you, Gary. It's been a great day here at the Burger Varsity Football House. 26 signees coming to Lafayette.